for our first video on the creation of single subject graphs and we're going to start with a simple a b design you can see that we have our data in a table and we'll go over the table in another video we also have this graphing checklist which is a checklist of items that I put together to help you remember and help me remember everything we want to do to try to create a good single subject graph. If you haven't already viewed the uh, video on elements of single subject graphs that might be a good thing to do first because it'll make a lot more sense in terms of what we're trying to do to the graph that's created in Excel. So we are using Microsoft Excel. This is uh, the the uh, Macintosh version 2011. The Windows version in 2011 is very, very similar. Um, certainly all of the concepts that we're going to use are the same. So we're going to start by highlighting some data. And we're going to highlight the data for the target behavior. And in this case, we also want to graph the replacement behavior data and the treatment integrity data. We're going to put it all on the same graph. So we highlight that data. We choose the, if you're in the home menu, you choose the charts menu and the line graphing. And we want a regular 2D line graph, not stacked. Just a simple line graph. Maybe we want a simple a marked line. There we go. Doesn't matter if you choose a line or a marked line, you'll be able to, we're gonna make some significant changes anyways. Let's put this in a place where we can see it well, make it larger. There we go. So let's look at our graphing checklist. First thing is we want to get rid of this border around the chart area. There's a chart area and there's a plot area. We want to get rid of the border around the chart area because if, when we carry it to, uh, to other places where we want to put it, like Microsoft Word, um, that border will come with us and we really don't want that border. So a number of ways you can get into the format for the, that chart area. Uh, you can double click it in on the Mac and then see this format chart area you can right click it and choose format chart area you can go to format once you've selected the chart area and select chart area so get there in whatever way works best for you choose line choose no line right no line or no border all right change to that next thing we want to do is format the plot area so let's click in the, more in the interior this is the plot area and we want to do a few things we want to delete the legend. Most single subject graphs don't have a legend. We'll add markers for the data later, or labels for the data. Uh, the vertical axis grid lines, most single subject graphs do not use vertical axis grid lines. We're gonna get rid of those also. So we're gonna highlight them, gonna delete them. 